and welcome to this week's edition of Bondi Snapshot. Look, we're all about the selling agents, um, but today we're going to hear about buying and why using a buyer's agent. We're going to hear from Veronica Morgan from Good Deeds Property Buyers. Good morning, Veronica, and thank you so much for joining us here on Bondi Snapshot. Well, my pleasure, and what a day. So you started in sales, on the sales side of real estate? Yeah, I did. So I started working for Sarah Lauden Real Estate, which okay. was all the way back mm. in 2000. And it was, look, a fabulous way to get into the market. It was it was very much you know, ahead of its time at the time. It did disrupt real estate, I remember. Yeah, so that was fabulous. And I was there for six years, and then I jumped the fence and got back into the industry, but on the buying side. And why would somebody use buyer's agent? I think fundamentally what we help people do is actually buy their dream home or buy an investment property that outperforms and so the reason people find that so difficult to do themselves is because one of the main three reasons they're either time poor and I think pretty much everyone is time poor these days particularly if you're in Sydney secondly it's so easy to pay too much and so there's a lot that goes into working out what a property is worth and what it, you should pay for it. There are two very different things. And thirdly, there's the, you know, the feeling that most people have, whether they admit it or not, that they are actually out of depth. And obviously you do a lot of background work. Um, how much time goes into sort of researching for a new buyer? A lot mm. goes into that. And look, there's two main ways that we would help a buyer. One is where they bring a property to us that they've already found. Mm. And the other is where they come to us saying, look, I don't have any time to go out looking or I don't even know where to look or what to look for or what can I afford. And so the background work there really starts in getting that brief right in the first place. And so we need to explore that brief and we need to make sure that they fully understand what the possibilities are to really push and stretch them in sense of the location, the actual property itself mm. and their budget. And just to make sure they really are getting the right property or that we really are looking for the right property in the first place. So Veronica, we've talked about um, why choose a buyer's agent, but who, what type of people come to you? It's a really good question. I think there's this perception that it's only for the well healed. The top end. And in reality, the top end, interestingly enough, the more money you've got, the less uh, careful they are with their money quite often. And in fact, they're least likely to actually engage a buyer's agent mm -hmm. for the same reason that somebody buying their first home or certainly upgrading or even their first investment property or second or third investment property. So we deal with clients spending even less than a million. Now there's not much you can get for less than a million, so the budgets sort of don't go too far below a million. But you know, our standard client would sit somewhere between a million and say two and a half okay. uh, as a budget and they would fit in all of those categories. So we have helped first home buyers, we have helped young families upgrade, we have helped investors get onto the property ladder in terms of buy their first, first investment. investment and build a portfolio. So, and I think what's really important is that if you don't have lots of money, you actually can't afford to take the risks that people are taking when they're buying property. It's easier to lose money in property than people realise. What do you look for in an ideal property? We have a measurement tool we call our Capital Growth Predictive Indicator. Mm -hmm. And what it actually does do is deep dive and we score every property that we evaluate wow. on a whole set, a whole range of you know, criteria. And that comes around from understanding the characteristics that a quality property or an above median growth performer needs to have in order to outperform everything else in that particular mm. suburb. And so it's applying that sort of knowledge into a structure to say, well, what are the sorts of things that will make a property easy to sell regardless of conditions? Mm. So Veronica, we can see you, obviously you've done the fabulous podcast I did with you, The Elephant in the Room, but yeah. you're quite a regular on Sky News. I oh, look, I regularly pop up there. Usually on the Saturday um, show, you'll see me every few weeks on the auction, the auction uh, day. I can't, oh, I love talking auctions. And I love debriefing auctions. So I'll pop up there quite regularly. And actually the other show that I host, which is Location, 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 on Lifestyle Channel, that is on continual repeat. There's like 40 episodes of that that just keeps popping up at different times. So people often see me, tell me that I'm, I'm back on air there. Well, look, we're so happy you could join us today. Thank you so much. And everybody look out for Veronica Morgan. Pleasure, thank you.